This week's tip is about asking questions. Ask a lot of questions before you take on a client, and then if you have the opportunity before the client books a venue, make sure that you ask questions. What happened to me a couple of years ago is a client came to me before she had booked the venue, which was great because I could educate her and help her th the whole way through beginning to end. It doesn't always work out that way though. But we went to the venue, we toured the venue. It was kind of a new place in town. I had never done anything there before. When we did a site visit, I walked up three flights of steps, didn't really think anything about it. The venue was super cool. It had a great view of downtown and they had great parking. So I thought to myself, this is great. And it's a new space. I love to do new things and new spaces. You know, let's do it. So months and months of planning go by. She hired a baker that I don't typically work with. And again, not every client wants to put a lot of money into the wedding cake. So whatever's important to the client, I say, okay, that's completely fine with you. But the week of the wedding, the bride got a call from the baker. After I sent the timeline out, letting her know what time to deliver the cake and where the venue was located. And she called the bride, again, the bride, not me, but the bride and told her that the venue that she had booked did not have an elevator and the man that owned the venue had been telling people in town for years that he was going to install an elevator to a make it handicap friendly and b to make it friendly for vendors to load in and out and the cake that she had chosen was seven tiers it weighed probably over 200 pounds and she was not going to deliver a cake so basically she was telling my client she wasn't going to do a wedding cake so of course the client calls me super upset, crying her eyes out. I'm like, calm down, let me call the baker. I'm sure we can work something out. It's really not that big of a deal. Well, at the time I wasn't thinking about all the tables, the chairs, the props, the furniture, the DJ equipment. I wasn't thinking of all that stuff that had to be carried up three flights of steps until the day of the wedding. But back to the baker. So I called the baker and told her, hey, why didn't you call me? I'm the planner, that's what a planner's for. If you have an issue or a concern, call the planner. And she's, she was not familiar in working with planners. She wasn't very nice, but she still apologized. And I told her in the future, if we ever work together again, please call me if you have an issue. And she said, I'm not climbing three flights of steps with that cake. And I told her, I said, I don't blame you but can you bring the cake in layers and then put it together on site at the venue? Again, as a planner, you constantly have to be thinking forward and thinking ahead and thinking of a solution for every single problem before you ever even know that, it's, that it happens. And she sat there for a minute and said, okay, I guess I can do that. I didn't think of that, but I'm, I was not carrying a seven tier cake up of three flights of steps. And I said, again, I don't expect you to, but bring the layers on site. If you can build it on site, that would be great. I'll have the floors meet you there. You guys can do it together. So we had a solution for that. The bride was happy, but again, come wedding day and all the vendors having to carry all that stuff up three flights of steps and then load out all the way down. It took a lot longer than anticipated and many of them mentioned to me that they wanted to charge more labor because it took a whole lot more time. So luckily I have really good relationships with all of those vendors that the bride had hired and so they did not charge an additional labor fee, but I, I, I wouldn't blame them. If I had staff loading in and loading out and I had given them two hours on the front end and the back end to set up and it took us eight hours, as a business owner, that comes out of my pocket. So that money has to come from somewhere. So again, just make sure that you're asking the right questions before you hire a venue. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.